It is currently 11.58. It is Tuesday. I just got off my eye exam. I worked out from, I, I'm doing so much today. This was so unlike me. I literally put all my appointments like boom, boom, boom. I worked out from 9.30 to 10.30 with Eric. I had an eye exam at 11. I just got out of it. And then I have my next appointment at 1.30. I am actually going to a new place to get my lips done. I think she's gonna dissolve, so I don't think I'll have lip filler today. I hopefully she could put lip filler in. I'm like, ugh, I don't know, like, I don't like my bottom lip right now. I don't like what's going on. I don't like what I'm seeing. Believe it or not, I've been getting my lips done for like five years. Most people don't know when I tell them that I get my lips done because they're like small still. But yeah, I've been getting them for five years. I only do half syringes when I go. So I think that's why it's not that noticeable. And I don't know. I love the lady that I go to. I still will go to her for other things. I really love her. But I just feel like I'm trying. I want to try a new technique. And I'm like, why not try something new? Like there's nothing wrong with trying something new. Um, so I'm going to her at 1 30 and she's in Dublin. She's at Tri-Valley Plastic Surgery Literally blanking on her name right now I don't know. I'll let you guys know uh, but I'm going to her for Lip filler today, so I'm excited, but I have my eye exam. My last eye exam was in 2019 You guys probably don't care, but I, I'm just gonna talk <laughs> I just like to talk. I feel like I'm talking to like a friend and I'm literally talking to a camera. It's great. Um, but yeah, my eye, my last eye exam was in 2019. My, I have astigmatism and I'm farsighted. So my last prescription that I should have got in 2019, I didn't get it. I was using my glasses from my eye exam before that, which I have no idea how long ago that was from. I don't know. So I definitely told me I need to get new, um, a new prescription. I need to get new glasses and I think I want to get new frames too. I like my frames, but I kind of am feeling like a tortoise or a lighter. They're black. So yeah, I did my eye exam. I have that. I think right now too, I'm going to go return or exchange this that I got over the weekend. It's the Fenty Beauty body sauce. I got it in the color Honey Honey and it's so hard like in Sephora. The lighting is so fluorescent that it looked good. I tried it Fuck, my camera's dying. Shit. I tried it, but it was too um, orange. I want it to be brown. Like, I, especially too, you guys probably won't be able to tell because this lighting on this camera, I'm trying to toy with the lighting too on the camera. I guess there's different settings. Who would have thought different lighting settings on a camera? But there's different settings, so I'm trying to like toy with it because I feel like it really washes me out. And I don't know, it's just weird. But anyways, I want it to be more brown, so I'm going to try and go for the agave spice color and see how I like that. But I'm going to go return this, pick up one of my mom's Mother's Day gifts, and I have my point 130, so my camera's dying. So I guess I will see you when I get home, and then you guys will be able to see if I either got my lips dissolved. I think she's going to want to dissolve them, though. I have a feeling. Dissolved, or if I got lip filler. So I will see you guys in a little bit. dissolver my top lip. Welcome back. So today is officially two days after I got my lip filler removed. She just actually said I had leftover lip filler just in my top lip, not in my bottom lip. I had gotten my bottom lip dissolved, I want to say January, February. So I was like thinking it didn't feel like I had anything in my bottom lip. So I was thinking she was just going to do the first one. But oh my god, if you guys ever go get your lips dissolved, it hurts so bad. Like, I can't, I have a really high pain tolerance. I'm not a baby when it comes to needles, to pain. Like, I can handle pain. Like, it doesn't bug me. And my eyes were literally watering. And she did a whole ML all on my top lips. And she basically was sitting in my lip with the needle like on these two corners and like digging it around so i just felt it and basically the dissolver is called hyalinex and it stings really really bad when it goes in so it's completely different feeling than you know getting filler it's totally totally different and it hurts so bad but so worth it i have lipstick on right now i'll show you guys later a video when i do take my makeup off what it looks like without like i have obviously lip liner and lipstick on so it's making my lips appear a little bit bigger but i love how they look dissolved i mean i am going to get them refilled just a bit 
I'm going back on Tuesday just tweaking like a few things kind of what doing what I had before but not with Juvederm with um, Restylane Kiss Juvederm gets very like can make your lips really puffy and like volumized and I'm not looking for projection in my lips all I want is like my top lip to be flipped up a little bit and my bottom lip to be like flipped down like I'm not looking for huge lips that poke out because that's not going to fit my face I have a narrow mouth and I have a small mouth and I just I don't know I feel like getting them dissolved if you or anyone's watching this has had lip filler before and you have been getting it for a long time and you're not liking them or you've just you know been getting it for like five years and you're like okay not loving them where do I go next I would definitely recommend dissolving them if you are obviously used to having my lips weren't that much bigger so it wasn't such a shock to me but I definitely saw my top lip literally deflate like literally deflate but I don't hate it and I think I don't hate it because she said that I had a ton of filler left like in here so there was a ton of filler like in this chunk in the middle of my top lip which I already have a chunk there just like naturally and she said a lot of it was literally right here which that is not where it should be it probably just migrated over time and she was like your lips don't even look bad but I can definitely see that there's like some migration up there um but yeah I, back I like got, went on a tangent but back to what I was saying is if you do have lip filler and you've been getting lip filler for a long time I would definitely recommend getting it dissolved and starting fresh if you're like not into it if you love your lips don't touch them whatever but if you're like me and you've been getting Jupiter for a really long time I would recommend dissolving them I just think that it's really good to start fresh and instead of keeping on like piling filler on I feel like it's just more beneficial to start fresh whether you go to the same person you go to a different person I'm actually going to someone different I love the lady who does my lip filler I still will go to her for Botox but I think that I just want a new technique that's all like I just want to try something new I've only ever gone to one person I'm like what is going to hurt by going to someone new nothing um, I'm going to a place called Tri Valley Plastic Surgery it's in Dublin and I am seeing a lady named Van so I so she just dissolved on Tuesday dissolved my whole upper lip literally one ml so like one full syringe they do put lidocaine in it though so it does numb you like you don't feel honestly the needle pokes don't bug me it's the actual Hylinex the actual dissolver going into your lips how that feels is what's like insane to me I'm like I probably wouldn't get filler if that's what filler felt like when they put it into your lips I'm not kidding like it's insane um but yeah I am going back on Tuesday she dissolved this last Tuesday today is Thursday so it's been a two, like 48 hours fully uh, I'm going back Tuesday at 11 45 and she is going to refill I don't know if I'm going to use the full syringe I don't know they do hold it for you I think for like up to two months um if you like don't if you only want to use half and then like go from there so I don't know I guess we'll see um, I'm obviously not going for like a huge look you can't even get a huge look from one syringe of filler like it's just not possible you kind of have to like build slowly over time but I'm definitely not looking to like completely make my lips huge I say that <laughs> I'm gonna be making videos in three months and I'm gonna be like huge lips no I just think that it won't fit my face like I just want some little tweaks I just want my top lip like kind of flipped up and yeah so that is my little spiel on my dissolver all right I just got ready washed my hair and then I'm going to be <laughs> heading to my lip appointment it is at 11 45 I'm gonna get there at 11 30 so that they can put the numbing cream on me I'm so excited I can't wait to show you guys I'll talk to you guys in the car it's welcome back okay so today is what day is it tuesday the 11th it's 11 10 my appointment's at 11 45 i'm getting my lips refilled today so excited can't wait to see what they look like um i'm getting them done at 3 45 i'm actually getting there 15 minutes early so that they can put numbing cream on and let it sorry the music in the back um so that they can let the numbing cream sit on there so yeah i'm excited also i washed my hair today oh i fucking hate I hate when my hair is dirty and it's hot outside like something about the heat and the sun beating on like a dirty scalp is just disgusting to me like it's so gross like I just feel so much better when my hair is clean I feel like I'm always talking about it um, but yeah lip appointment 11 45 it's 11 11 make a wish okay um 
and I will see you guys after I do my lips. I cannot wait to get these dark witch nails off. I'm like disgusted by them. I'm over it. I don't want to see this until next fall. Like I'm done. I can't wait to go back to white. I can't wait. Um, I'm getting them done at two. So I'll see you guys after I get my lips done. I'll try and bring my camera in there. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. We'll see. I'll insert some clips if I do, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, also, I have a lip gloss that I never wear um, on my lips today. It's Charlotte Tilbury. It's called Seduce Me. It's kind of pretty. It's like my lip color, but peachier, and there's a little bit of sheen to it, so I like it. I also have no gas right now, so let's cross our fingers that we get there. <laughs> oh, and the little OOTD, a Lululemon tank, the Hottie Hot short, and then my little Gucci slides. I need to get my toes on. I need to get my car washed. I don't even want to talk about it. Okay, bye, guys. I just got home. They're really swollen. It's so hard to talk after you get your lips done. But she did Restylane Define. I've never had Restylane before. So helpful. She did a little bit more than half. I think she said like 60%. I'm going to go back in four weeks and like reassess, see if there's any little spots or whatever. But I really like them. She did them so good. Like she took her time. <laughs> she took her time. She asked me a million times like are you okay do you want me to stop do you want to pause my eyes were watering i think it's because i'm really sensitive because i'm about to get my period but just did such a good job of like achieving what i was looking for um she basically did two little drops on my cupid's bow filled in right here did a little bit right here and then right here um but she poked a lot which i like because then it means you know she's being like specific on where she's putting it then did a massage after so she said they're gonna be really swollen because also not only did she do lip filler but she massaged which makes them more um swollen i'm so hungry not to make a sandwich but i just want to show you guys like what they looked like right after and then i will show you guys tomorrow and the next day because they're going to be pretty swollen the next few days and then i'll show you obviously like in a week or i'll do like a separate one I'm so hungry, I'm gonna pass out and die. But I just wanna show you. Okay, a little update. Just got my lips done about an hour ago. I'm talking funny because when you first get them done, your lips are swollen. So they like, it's so hard to talk or eat or drink or anything. It's just really bizarre because they're so swollen. Um, but I love them. So I got a little more than half of a syringe of Restylane Define. I've never done Restylane Define. She said the difference between that and Kiss is Restylane Kiss, she said she likes it for, and when I'm saying she, I'm referring to her name is Van. She is at Tri-Valley Plastic Surgery in Dublin. She is amazing. Like, I'm not even just saying that. She's really, really good. Very, like, thorough and explaining things, which I really like, and with, I don't know why I'm holding that, um, and with two, like, any questions that I had, she answered them in depth. I was like, okay, what is the difference between Restylane Kiss and Restylane Define? What is the difference between that and Juvederm? And like, what, why are you choosing that? Because I'm very curious and I like to know what I'm doing. And you know, you hear of all these things and you hear of all the new things, like Restylane Kiss is the newest. She said that she prefers to do Restylane Kiss on lips that already have a really good shape that she's just trying to like plump up a little bit and you know, give some hydration. For Restylane Define, she likes it better for if you are wanting to tweak your shape a little bit, which that's what I'm trying to do. I basically am trying to, which I feel like she achieved in one session, um, I'm just trying to flip my upper lip a little bit more. It curls down. Um, I have like the M-shaped lift where it's, you know, there's like a chunk in the middle naturally. So I'm just trying to like fill that in so it's not so prominent in the middle. And then because it basically before I had like a chunk right here and then it like it would look deflated on the sides just naturally and she just kind of filled it up a little bit she did two drops in my cupid's bow so right here and then she excuse me and then she did um a little bit right here a little bit down here but i really 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 like them um i just wanted to update you guys and show you what they look like right after but love them it's been about an hour so swelling is like this is prime time for swelling it is so hot um but yeah i really really like that i really liked her i went to tri valley plastic surgery in dublin her name is van she's really good she just knows what you could what she's doing and you can tell and i feel like she was so like she was so close to you and she was doing it and kept like going at different angles and like i love that because then it shows that you are 
you know making sure that they're even and they look good you're not just like all right, all right i'm gonna do three pokes here and then we're just gonna hope for the best like i feel like she was really thorough in doing it and explaining it and it that appointment that i just had where she's a little bit more than a half is probably double or triple the amount of time my other appointments were for getting my lips done so that just shows how thorough and like meticulous she was with where she was placing the filler which i really really liked um but yeah i really liked her i really liked this and i'm actually um made an appointment for about a month to see what they because they're so swollen right now i love how they look right now but i know i'm gonna be sad when the swelling goes down a little bit because i like how they look right now um so i made an appointment in a month for just like to see where we're at see if we want to use the rest of the syringe see what we're gonna do um so we'll see so i'll update i'll update you, I'll update you guys tomorrow and I'll update you guys maybe the next few days and maybe a week from now um, just so you guys can see the progression of the swelling going down and like how my lips really look after because they are really swollen right now. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Um, oh, fucking allergies, God. Um, but see that was just hard but i'm going to get my nails done right now nails and toes mani pedi time getting these freaking witch nails off i'm so over the dark i don't know why i wanted to do bar, bar dark in may like i don't know what i was thinking i think i got like i don't know i don't know what was i thinking i don't know uh i don't know what i was thinking but i don't want to see dark on my nails until fall i don't want to look at it i don't want to no not doing it i'm going for white today white on both that's like a classic that or light pink that's literally the only two colors i do i'm loving all these like fun nails that people are doing though it makes you want to try it but i'm so like narrow-minded when it comes to my nails like i just like a clean white or pink look so i don't know i don't think i'll be trying any of those but love to see them on other people um but yeah i just wanted to update you guys on my lips i don't know if i'm gonna make this a whole lip filler vlog or make this into like a vlog with other things i have no idea but we'll see um but i'll update you guys in about a day tomorrow i'll update you guys tomorrow and let you guys know so today's tuesday the 11th i'll update you guys tomorrow the 12th and this is like a up close See, like, she just lifted my top lip and made the, the space between here and here a little bit shorter, which I feel like just made my mouth look better. Just, like, a little bit more feminine and plump and not... I literally have my dad's mouth. Like, my exact dad's mouth. It's so funny. And it's fine on him because he's a guy, but I'm like... Oh. I just want a little, little bit of plump, a little bit of juiciness. I just want some feminine, pretty lips. That's all I want one day after so it's officially been 24 hours they're still pretty swollen i'm bruising a little bit right here but they look so good they're definitely still really swollen like i noticed my top lip she put most of it in my top lip so i noticed that that's pretty swollen but i still feel like they look really good i'm so happy, I'm so happy. um yeah Hi guys, okay, so it's Thursday night, so it's officially been two days. They are still going down in swelling wise. Um, so it's kind of hard to tell. I feel like they were the most swollen directly after and the day after. So yesterday, I feel like they were the most swollen for sure. Um, but I really like them. They feel really good. They do feel like a little hard right here. I think it's just cause I've also never had it in my Cupid's bow. So it's a little different. Um, it's like interesting right there definitely but I really like them I really like the shape of them I feel like she did such a good job flipping my upper lip up a little bit without doing like the Botox lip flip she says that the Botox lip flip is really for people who have like a gummy smile which I don't have a gummy smile um, but she was like the Botox lip flip, if you do on someone who doesn't have a gummy smell It's not gonna do that much and it goes away really fast So I feel like she did a really good job of just like giving some plumpness to my upper lip. Why is my arm already sore? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to update you guys and show you guys what they look like two days after so they're still like pretty swollen um, but the swelling has gone down a lot from Tuesday I feel like they were the most swollen that night when I got home. They were really swollen. I was like <laughs> but now i feel like they're definitely starting to like go down people say that it could take up to two weeks
but um, I'll update you guys in a later vlog, maybe like next week or something, um, and show you guys what they look like in about a week or two so that you guys can see the full swelling down. But I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.